Turning 55 has not been the no fuck ups given adventure I was told that it would be. I have been inside myself for six long months, questioning everything and coming up with no answers, no solutions, further and further from my own guidance and insight. Life has slipped from me, tiny piece after tiny piece. It's cracked, fragmented, ready to crash. That can happen to me, but I think while I'm in it, I forget that I like to rise from the ashes of my own doing. I like to watch something burn in my life and see it purify me. So I recommit to myself and to love. I find a steady footing again, even if it is a few ranks lower on the ladder than I remember. I start to climb again, because to stop climbing is the way to die without trying. I look for love again in unlikely places, in smaller moments, and I remember all the things I forgot while I was someone else for a while, inhabiting my body but not acknowledging my soul. I reach for the things I remember bring me joy and hold them up to the light to see their purity. Is this still good for me? I ask. Have I outgrown this? And I stay gentle with myself because that is the only way I know. In a world that wants hardness, I will continue to frame my edges, to remember to keep them soft and smooth out of necessity, out of strength. I refuse to be a hard MF. And however many times love for myself, for another, for others, for anything, fragments and cracks, I will find a way back to war. The all may look different, come formed in a package I don't recognize, but I will know when it is all, based on the familiar grooves of myself. The pieces will fit together somehow, eventually. They always do. This is how it goes. It is the space between knowing, it is happening and waiting for it to happen, where the mind can run away, a train of tracks, dangerously close to burning up in a way that might take too long to come back from. That is the tricky space. That is the expanse to take great care with. That is the divide I am at now in my life. So what do I do? I wait. I wait.